I'm Linda McCrillis, and I've been volunteering at Pro Buck International for over 10 years, at first as a docent, leading the traditional historic house tour. Later, I was delighted to become one of the first facilitators for our relatively new Taking Action Tour. This tour includes conversations with our guests about important social justice issues. Pearl Buck especially fascinates me because she was so far ahead of her time on so many important social justice issues. On either tour, I love especially talking about the bench in the mudroom, which originally came from Richard Walsh's office at the John Day Company, his publishing company. This is the story of what that bench meant to Pearl Buck and Walsh, who became her second husband. Pearl Buck's first novel, East Wind, West Wind, did not impress publishers. In fact, her literary agent offered the manuscript to 27 publishers before finally taking it to Richard Walsh at the young and still struggling John Day Company. Richard Walsh gave it to his editors to read and they were split right down the middle. Half yes, we should publish it and half no. Walsh had to read it to break the tie, and this is what he said to his editors. We're going to publish it, not because I think it's such a great book, but I think this author shows promise. Now, it was on this very bench that Pearl Buck sat waiting to meet Richard Walsh when she came to New York to discuss the publication of her novel. We all know she clearly had promise professionally, only her second book was The Good Earth, which won the Pulitzer Prize in 1932. By 1938, she had gone on to win the Nobel Prize for Literature, becoming the first woman to win both those prizes. She remained the only woman until 1992 when Toni Morrison accomplished that. However, she also showed promise personally, as mismatched as she and her first husband, Lossing Buck, were. She and Richard Walsh were clearly soulmates. They married, and together they went on to use her fame as an author to accomplish so much good in the world. It is then a joy to fill people in on some of that good, especially on the Taking Action Tour, I hope you will come and join us on either tour, or maybe both, when we can be all be out doing the things that we enjoy again.